Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to our 24th C++ tutorial. I should also wish everybody a Merry Christmas, as it is ironically December 24th, Christmas Eve. All right, today we're going to be discussing classes and inheritance. So what is inheritance? Well, inherit inheritance is when um, a class inherits the properties and methods of another class. Sounds confusing, but it's actually very simple. Let's say class, and we'll say fridge, and this is like short for refrigerator public int temp so there we have a refrigerator class with a public variable called temp for temperature let's actually make another class here we'll call it uh, call it truck change this to speed so now we have a truck class that has a public integer of speed so we have two totally different classes one refrigerates one drives now we're going to make it a third class. We'll call it oops. We'll call it freezer truck. And let's just uh get out of there. Public and it inherits the truck. Hope if I could spell today. And it also inherits the fridge class. So this is multiple inheritance. Now what this is saying is we have a class called freezer truck. You notice how there's nothing in it, but it's going to inherit both the truck and the fridge. So when we go ahead and we say freezer truck, call it M truck, you notice how suddenly, magically, it has both a speed and a temperature variable. Now you notice how the speed variable comes from truck and the temp variable comes from fridge. That's how multiple inheritance works. Now in a normal classroom setting they're going to go over inheritance and then they're going to go over multiple inheritance. I covered both at the same time because they're essentially the same thing. You just have to understand that you can inherit properties from multiple classes. So you can be not just a truck or a refrigerator, you can be a truck and a refrigerator, like a refrigerated truck. And to use this, you could use it just like any other class. Say he's going 100 miles an hour and the temperature is a, a balmy 20 degrees. And let's just go see out. I mean, as you can see, there's there's nothing really new here. It's the exact same thing you've been doing. But now you understand that you can create classes and inherit the properties of other classes. Now, you might have noticed the, um, the public keyword. What is going on with that? Well, let's run this example real quick, and then we'll explain it. I just want to show you that this does indeed work. See, it's going 100 miles an hour, and it's 20 degrees. Now, the public keyword says you're going to inherit the public properties of truck. Notice how it's inheriting int speed. Let's make another one called int um, gas. How much gas that truck has. Now when we go back to our truck and we try to do that, you notice how suddenly it only sees that. Well, it's because we cannot inherit private properties of class. They're private. They're to the class only. Only the truck class can see gas. Now we are inheriting the public parts of truck, so we are inheriting speed. Now, if you have a function in truck, for example, um, void set gas int m gas, and let's just make a little function here, and we'll say gas equal m gas then yes we will inherit set gas and we can manipulate this private variable let's try that out here notice how gas has a little lock next to it, it means we can't touch it set gas and we'll say we're at 100 gas and let's uh, copy this paste that and let's try to access gas I just want to show you exactly what's going on here 
notice how there's a build error and it says truck gas cannot access private member gas so this goes back to our getter setter conversation so we would have to actually say int get gas and return gas and let's actually say get gas and we have to include our brackets here let's run this and sure enough now it works it's going 100 miles an hour it's 20 degrees and it has 100 percent gas so that is how inheritance and multiple inheritance works with public and private variables now it would be um, incredibly stupid to try to do something like this inherit the private variables of the truck because you can't add, you can't access them anyways so there's really not a whole lot to do here oops I cannot type today public truck fridge um, there's another uh, access modifier we should cover and it is called protected actually let's set it up here in the fridge class just to get rid of some of this clutter here and we'll say bool has freon not sure if I spelled freon right but freon is the chemical inside of a fridge that makes it cold alright so there's freon and what does protected mean? Protected means it's not public, it's not private, it's somewhere in between. It's private to the class, but it is available to all classes that inherit from it. So let's go back to our freezer truck example here. And you see how it has a different icon, a little lock, means it's protected, has freon equal true. And we can run this and well let's see if it runs has free and cannot access public members outside class fridge okay the reason why we cannot access this is because we're trying to access it outside of the class now if we were to access it inside of our freezer truck example here uh, let's say uh, set free on let's just say uh, this has freon equal true now we can say set freon and that function inside of truck simply turns the has freon bool to true and when we run this it should compile just fine and sure enough there it works so that in a nutshell is a about a two week course in some computer science classes but we've condensed it down to I think about five ten minutes um, it's actually not hard once you get used to it you just have to play around and you have to understand that um, a class can inherit other classes and they can inherit the public and the protected parts of the classes and you can only access the protected parts of the classes from within a subclass or the class itself remember how when we went into freezer truck we can set the has freon variable but when we try to do it in the main function it can't do it because it doesn't have access so this is Brian I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and uh, Merry Christmas I'm gonna take a couple of days off hang out with my family and uh, just relax